Hi, this is Paul Crow here, and we're on Spice Appear Blog. And in this video, we're gonna look at uh, Google Apps and basically Google Apps associated with a custom domain that you have bought through Blogger for your blog. So this week, we wrote two posts which generated a lot of interest. The first post uh, was why not getting a custom domain for your blog is stupid, which explained why you should have a, a custom domain in my opinion. And the second one was how to buy a custom domain directly from Blogger and connect it to your blog, which showed you then how to how to go and get that actual custom domain and set it up with your blog. Now in those posts I, I mentioned one or two things that um, people have asked me about um, and mainly uh, setting up things within Google Apps. There goes my phone. Um, a bit, yeah, mainly setting up things through Google Apps, and I guess two things in particular. Uh, the first one was setting up emails and setting up emails connected with your blog and with your custom domain that you just bought. And in this way, I mean uh, the main email that I use connected to Spice Up Your Blog is Paul at SpiceUpYourBlog.com. But in the same way, you could actually set up a number of emails. I'm not sure what the limit is, but I know it's high enough. Um, so you could set up, um, let's say you bought the domain name My Amazing Blog. You could have your name at MyAmazingBlog.com, info at My Amazing Blog, support at My Amazing Blog, you know, all the things, advertising at My Amazing Blog. If you have two or three people who write for the blog, you could have all their names at your blog name. And that's a really cool feature. And um, with Google Apps recently, and I really don't want to get into it too deeply because it can really get confusing. Um, Google Apps is really set up for, for big companies and, and some major companies around the world actually use Google Apps. Um, and, and they use Google Apps to support an awful lot of things that they're doing. Um, whereas with a blog, you're just looking for some of the basics. Um, so Google Apps recently made a couple of changes. Um, one of the changes they made was that Google Apps account became like a proper Google account in many ways. So with your Google Apps account, you could use your Google Apps email to log into like Picasso web albums or, or, or even Blogger or YouTube. You, know, you could use it as a proper um, Google account. Um, and there's also an awful lot of outside kind of things come in, like an awful lot of outside apps come into Google Apps. Um, and all this can get confusing. So what we're going to do in this video is, is stick with the two main things. And as I said, the first one is your emails and setting up some emails. And the second one is accessing your DNS settings or your domain settings, your domain name settings. And a couple of people asked about this. And this would be when I went through the video showing you how to get the domain. Um, I told you how... Um, Google isn't a domain registrar, that they actually register your domain on an outside site, such as GoDaddy. And what you, some people will want to do, I guess, is go into GoDaddy and access those settings for the domain. And one of the reasons you might want to do this would be to set up like a subdomain. And a subdomain is, um, like for Spice Up Your Blog, would be, um, one that I have set up is about dot spiceupyourblog.com, which is an about page. Um, and so you might want to go in and do something like that. Um, so yeah, so let's let's go and look at a couple of those things. Now I actually had a dilemma. Um, I already made a video, and when I was making the video and logging into my account, my, my my Google Apps account associated with my domain name, and this will all become clear if you're kind of right now thinking what this will all become clear. But basically, when I was logging into my Google Apps account, I start thinking how did I originally get into the account? I couldn't actually remember how I originally accessed the Google Apps account. Um, and what it is, is when you register your domain, because I went back and searched, and when you first register your domain, um, you will be sent an email from Google to, to originally log in with a very special URL to make your original login and set up what's called an administrator. Okay, so a couple of months ago, I bought the domain name, and I'm somebody, believe me, who constantly buys domain names with the best of intention and never sets up any sites connected to them. I, don't, I just have an addiction to buying domain names. Um, but a couple of months ago, I bought the domain name um, bestbloggerblogs.com. Uh, I had a couple of intentions of doing something with it, but I haven't done anything yet. But basically, yeah, I bought bestbloggerblogs.com. Um, so what I did was I went, went searching through my email to see what happened? What was I sent out? And I found here in my main email, uh, Google Checkout, here's where I bought it, $12.10. Um, one domain registration for bestbloggerblogs.com. So you should have got one of these out from Google Checkout. And then you get out this email, Google Apps, do not reply. 
okay so once you uh, bought your domain name you should get this email out Google Apps do not reply now if you, you bought maybe you bought your domain name um, you know six months ago or something like that what you can do is what I've done here is, is basically search your mail for the name of the domain name that you bought so if you bought the domain name mysuperblog.com just search your mail type it in search mail and it should come up um, and if maybe you uh, you deleted it that email by accident you can actually click um, go to trash and view the trash um, and you can actually still access it and you should find an email connected with that domain that you bought with Google Apps do not reply okay so this is how we make our original Google Apps account this is very 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 important okay so that you get access to this Google Apps account so this email should have been sent out to you I know some of you would have just bought a uh, domain this, this week after seeing my video so you should have this near the top of your inbox so we're going to click into this email um, Hello Paul Crow, welcome to Google Apps, congratulations on completing your purchase of the domain and so on and so on and so on and it says here if you haven't already created an administrator account for the domain click the following link and this is a very exclusive link that you can click and go in and set up your very first account okay so what we're going to do is we're going to click this link and we'll come to this Google Apps setup page now on this page we have some details basically the email that I use for um, some of my other stuff and the, the email I was using when I bought this in, in Google checkout the country I'm in and down here we can fill in some more details which is very very important and what we're doing here is we're setting up the original account that gives us access to Google Apps and this is a must so what we're going to do here is we can see the username is going to be at bestbloggerblogs.com and that will be different obviously for your domain whatever you bought so whatever I type in here if I put in Paul well then when I log into Google Apps it's going to be Paul at bestbloggerblogs.com or your name at yourdomain.com of course that could be admin that could be support whatever you want but what you need to remember is no matter what you type here you can set up lots more emails later so just type in your own name just for a start but you can set up more later you can set up the admin and the support at, at your blog and all that later on put in a password for some reason that's why did that go in <laughs> um, so let's throw in a, a password and there's my password gone in you're gonna set in your password always make very difficult passwords for people to understand or copy so now what we've done is we've come to this page click the link in the email put in Paul our first name at best blogger blogs typed in a password twice that seems to have vanished for some reason maybe I've already done this um, there we have our password in and continue with setup I hope I haven't already done this I don't recall doing it I really do buy an awful lot of domains okay you're trying to access Google Apps administer control panel to go follow account however you are oh, that's this is basically I'm logged into a different email which is this email here but we won't worry about that so we're going to just going to switch accounts that's actually going to happen to you because now Google have set up what as I explained earlier on um, whereas previously you could have um, basically logged into your, your normal Gmail and your Google Apps at the same time you can't anymore that's all that is so that's nothing to worry about okay so when you come here Google Apps setup wizard for bestbloggerblogs.com and we have a ton of stuff here that would basically walk us through um, setting up Google Apps and what's available and I really really do recommend going through all of this take out 10 minutes of your day and go through all this because there's an awful lot to offer but we're not going to look at it now we're going to look at two of the two main things which is the email and your domain settings okay so what we want to do we've set up our email paul at bestbloggerblogs.com and we know our password so what we would do then to set up more emails would be go to organization and users um, and down here we have yes create new user okay so we have create new user so we go first name just putting in your normal name Paul Crow and down here we're picking another email and this is what we're doing this can be info this can be support this can be um, whatever you like it can be somebody else that writes for your blog it can be Mary at your blog's name or Pat 
Um, and they have a temporary password here, which I suppose you won't want to use. So click set password, put in a password. Uh, let's put in the same thing. Totally forgot what I typed. You type your password. And it's a weak password, but I'm not going to keep it anyways. And then we click create new user. And when we click create new user, what we have done is we've created the user info at bestbloggerblogs.com and you'll be creating yours info with your blog or support or whatever you would like um, and once again this password can be totally different to the other one that you set up and it probably is a good idea to have it different and click create new user it's taken a couple of seconds your username info your, your new email address is info at bestbloggerblogs.com sign in via this okay so we're going to click done and there we are info at bestbloggerblogs. So right now I've actually set up two emails in a couple of minutes. I have paul at bestbloggerblogs.com and info at bestbloggerblogs.com. And you can click create another user. Once again, type in the name, put in the email address, set a password, and you can do this. I, I think there's like 50. I'm not sure. I, I know there's a lot of emails you can set up. Maybe it's not 50. But that's that done. I think, we've, I think we explained that well. I think we all understand it. Now, the next one we want to look at is accessing your DNS settings. I have more to show you in a minute about this part actually, but we're going to look at accessing your DNA, or DNA. <laughs> we won't be accessing your DNA in this video. We're going to access your DNS settings. Okay, so let's click domain settings up here. In the sub menu, we're going to click domain names. And down here, we're going to see how to access those DNS settings. Now, when I made a video showing you how to um, create your domain name, I told you how Google is in the registrar, and what they do is they host your domain on a domain registrar outside, an outside site, let's say. And our blog here, bestbloggerblogs.com, is, is registered with GoDaddy. So to get into the, the DNS settings, I would basically access GoDaddy. And to do that, I would click this link here, Advanced DNS Settings. And when I click this link, it gives me um, a GoDaddy username and password that I can use to log in to GoDaddy and then access those settings. If you don't know what you're doing, when you're trying to access these settings, don't do it. Because if you make a mistake in there, it's not that easy and quick to fix. But some of the things you can do are things like creating subdomains and so on. Or let's say you get rid of your blog and you want to... Um, you want to actually use the domain name for something else. Well, you can do that in there. If you wanted to park the domain, um, you can do that there as well. So that's basically how we do that. Now, what I want to look at is when we have created right now, we created Paul at bestbloggerblogs.com and we've created info, wasn't it info? We've created info at bestbloggerblogs.com. So how do you, um, thank you very much. How do you, actually get yeah, it was info so how do you actually get into these accounts and that was, that's what I want to show you right now so I have Chrome open here I do have Chrome open so what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you exactly how I get into those accounts what I do is I go to Google Apps by just by searching Google Apps it will be the top answer here or in your address bar let's pop this up here you go to google.com forward slash a not forward slash one or q forward slash a there we go and we will come to this page so that's you search for google apps or go to google.com forward slash a we're up to 13 minutes so we're going to want to start rushing through this let's move this what we do is we come to this page we click sign in enter your domain name which was best blogger to blogs dot com and over here and go to it has email I'm gonna to go to domain management um, click go and over here we have another login form which is the, the what we just created our, our email to get in so that would be info which we created so that's info at bestbloggerblogs.com and the password we created with that and sign in and um, welcome to your new account privacy notice terms of service tons of stuff to fill out nice catch it on the end b-r-e-a-k b-r-e-a-k e-r-t u-r-t hopefully that's right um, no of course it's not p-e-r-n-e-r -E -E i hate these damn things s-t-a-l that's right to me 
There we go. Now we're trying to log into this. Yeah, we could just switch accounts. I won't save that. Um, yeah, so basically we have the options to go through different things here. I'm going to click email because this isn't the main administrator account. We have a couple of things. But this is basically what I just created just now. I've just logged into the email. If we look up here in the corner, info at bestbloggerblogs.com. And that's how you log into that email. We've got a couple of emails out here from the Gmail team. And that's it. That's how we log in. Um, so that's how you create all your emails and how you log into them. And also we showed you how to access your DNS settings. And we're over 15 minutes, which won't be accepted on YouTube. So I'm going to have to cut a small bit of this video. But that will be done by the time you've seen it. If you have any questions, drop comments um, on Spice Up Your Blog. And I'll do my best to help. Thanks for watching the video.